Hey, Perry Peacock here with Wilderness Innovation. And uh, I'm up here today uh, doing a little camp. Got, got things set up here, getting kind of ready for everything. And uh, I built me a bow bed. It's elevated up off the ground. It's supposed to have some rain tonight. I don't know if we really will or not, but we'll see. But anyway, I've got my survival blanket here. All right, so just like on the, uh, just like on the fleece, when I pour water on here, see it pretty much just wants to run off. It, it's not water proof at all. It's got a repellent coating. So it does mostly want to run off, but with, uh, with uh, long exposure and that sort of thing, it will eventually start to soak in. So I want to, uh, I want to get my uh, bed here ready, ready for uh, sleeping tonight. So I've got a little something special I'm going to do to do that right now. Okay, so <clears throat> what I do, you saw that, that that water would run right off of there. And uh, we actually want it to soak into this thing here. So I got a couple of these rocks out of the fire. And the trunk of my body is going to be laying right here. So I want to pour the water right there. I'm going to do, I've got five gallons of water here. And I've got to let that just start soaking in a little. Once it starts to soak in, I can get it to, and get it to go here. See, I don't even hardly need a tarp. <clears throat> but trust me, it will. It will soak into there once it once it gets through. This is not waterproof. It's just water repellent. Well, go ahead and get some in the middle there where I'm going to be laying. Yeah, it's kind of get me all prepped up for bed. So anyway, there you go. <laughs> Having a little fun today. Obviously, that's going to make my blanket a little dirty with those rocks from out of the fire, but I just kind of want to fill that and kind of dam that up a little bit so it will so we can get us a good decent amount of water in here. It's kind of slow. It's kind of slow how it soaks into there, but oh, there's water down inside from where I from where I lifted it up and poured it. So anyway, I'm just getting my bed just getting my bed prepared for nighttime. All right, so now you can see right here. There's water inside. It's dripping. You can. You can see it, it's dripping out through the blanket down underneath there. It's dripping over here. See that right there? That's, that's just soaked with water. But you see it's, it's running through. That's why I wanted this tarp down here. So you can see that the water is running through here. And you can really see it well right here. See it all coming out of there. So the cool thing about that is, that means even though this thing gets wet, it doesn't want to stay in there, it wants to run right out. Now if we look inside of here, there's, there's water in here. That's where I'm going to be sleeping. Water up there where the rocks are. So this water has, is all the way through there, it's totally saturated, it's running out the bottom. So now, now you know what I was doing with that five gallon bucket of water. I was getting my bed ready to sleep in. Cause I don't want, who wants to sleep in a dry bed? But it'll be totally all right. Now it will be damp when I get in, but by the time I wake up in the morning, most of that moisture will be out of there. But even in spite of being uh, wet through pouring the water right through this whole thing, I'll still be warm. But it is more comfortable not to wear 
wet clothing inside of there. Uh, unless it's, if it's synthetic, it's not too bad, but I've found it's still more comfortable just to be right in there against the blanket. And, uh, and you'll find that your body heat will drive a lot of that moisture out of the blanket. And uh, whatever gravity doesn't pull out, your body heat will help dry out. And uh, it'll be nice and cozy. Well, here I am. It's morning. I've made it through the night just fine. And uh, I, had a great, I had a great sleep last night. And uh, in spite of all the five gallons of water I poured over this thing, I still did pretty well. <laughs> it's nice. I love these bow beds here. Nice and cozy and soft and warm. Well, uh, I did pretty well last night. Um, I did switch out to this shirt from what I went was I had on initially. This shirt here is a hundred percent polyester, so I wanted to wear that one instead of my 60/40 <clears throat> that I had on earlier, and it and it actually goes to show something. Um, now obviously with everything I did yesterday my blanket is dirty <laughs> but got ash on it and dirt and mud a little bit but, but that's fine. But uh, basically the blanket is just a little bit damp right in here and and everywhere else uh, the blanket is in good shape. Now if you look, I don't know if you can see right here on my pants, so this is 60-40, so 60% 60 cotton. You see right through here and kind of around back like this, it's still a little bit, it's still damp. My shirt is dry and uh, <clears throat> so the one thing that shows you is through the night basically Whatever, whatever moisture could drip out of the blanket dripped. Whatever else my body heat could drive out, it drove out. And this blanket is, uh, the top of this, the, the top part of this blanket is totally dry. There's a little spot in here. The only thing left damp in the blanket is right here where I laid on my side. So right, right in this area right here on the blanket is the only thing that's still damp. Um, that's because I was retaining moisture because of the cotton in these pants. Because it was just as wet when I laid down up here in my chest area. It was just as wet up here in my chest area as it was down around here. And, uh, and, and it's dry up there around my chest. And I think that's because cotton, when it gets wet, it's very hard for it to dry. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, it doesn't dry nearly as easy as a polyester. And, and I think what happened is I retained that, that moisture just stayed there. And so, so it didn't really, didn't really get driven out like it did up in my, around the upper part of my body, which is totally dry. But anyway, I mean, this whole blanket, you couldn't, you couldn't possibly wring any moisture out of it. You know, you, you saw I did lift up the cover here and I poured it in, inside the blanket so there was a, you know, pond of water inside and then I put the rocks on the top and poured more on there so it could all soak through and soak into there and I showed you you know underneath how the water was dripping all the way through and dripping dripping through to the ground so I mean the thing was totally saturated uh, in the area the main area where my body is and uh, and this thing is virtually dry uh, due to just gravity pulling moisture out and dripping out to the ground, and then my body heat driving it out. And I've I've done this before. I mean, I've never dumped water on like I did like I did last night. But but I've been in you know I've slept in this setup in the rain before a number of times, and even uh, rain changing to snow before. And so it's not my not my first go around, but it's kind of interesting doing it this way, where I just literally poured all that water onto the blanket before I went to bed. And um, that way, you know, I, I mean, I know how much 
I know how much that I got into here. I know how the, you know, it's just, when I went to bed last night on the inner part of this, there was literally, there's literally some standing water still in here that I laid in. <laughs> and it was cold right at first. And it was cold for probably five or 10 minutes. And then it started to warm up. And I got all the way in just like you saw me uh, when, I, when I showed getting out this morning. I, I, I get all the way in this blanket. That's the way I normally sleep unless it's warmer weather. But I'm, I'm all the way in. It's very cozy that way. But it worked really nice. So, so anyway, it's just uh, showing you, uh, like I say, this blanket, I mean, if you were, if this is all you had, you didn't have any other shelter, you could lay here and even if it rained on you, most of the rain would run off. And any rain that happens to penetrate through. And the reason I wanted to show you this elevated bed on the, on the pine boughs now, I could just pile up a pile of pine boughs on the ground as well and, and lay on that. And, you know, the main, the only thing you'd want to do in a, in a rain, you don't want to be where you're going to be down in a depression where you're going to be laying in a puddle. As long as you're elevated so any moisture that does get in there can drain out, you're good. And this, and this thing is very, this thing is very warm, even, even pretty wet. It's, uh, it's pretty warm. But anyway, worked really well. Had a great, great night's sleep. I like to do these beds, or takes about a half an hour to make one, uh, typically. But uh, so a lot of times I don't. But a lot of times I use my hammock or something like that. But for this case, I wanted to just show you the, just kind of show you the effect of, of, of moisture traveling through the blanket, so that you don't really have to worry that much about it. Anyway, this is. Perry Peacock Wilderness Innovation, having a great time up here in the in the fall, mid October, and uh, I gotta get over here and get my breakfast on and get my boots on my feet and get over here and get something to eat. I'm a little bit hungry this morning and and all that, but uh, take care. Have a great day. Enjoy your time outdoors. Get out all year round. Uh, Soon fall will be gone and I'll be doing the same kind of deal in the winter time and showing you some videos of that. So anyway, uh, it's good to, good to be here. Take care. See you on the next go around. Mm -hmm.